Hi, welcome to the tutorial on optimizing channel contributions for maximum sales using Python. We want to make sure that we get the best split of our budget to get the maximum amount of sales we can possibly get. So we get started by bringing in all the libraries that we need, Pandas and NumPy, Scikit-Learn for our linear regression, uh, train, test, and split, and looking at some of the metrics that we're going to use to score the model. And then we're going to use scipy.optimize to create that linear model. So let's take a look at the data that we're using. This is a advertising data set with TV, radio, and newspaper. And these inputs all go into the individual sales. So this is a very easy data set that we can use to use this technique. So let's take a quick look at the data in a visual format. We can see our three channels here. And from those three channels, what we did, we created a subplot. And so we can kind of see the linearity between all those variables. So what I did is I initiated a subplot here. And we want one row, three columns, and we change the figure size. Then we want to iterate over one. We want to iterate over the number. This is why we use enumerate. And then we want to iterate over the channels that I put in this list. Once we do that, we get our ridge plot. And then we can just loop through and add these different plots. And you can see all of them pretty much have a linear relationship with sales. Then we look at some of the correlations. So you can see that there are high correlations between sales and TV. And then there are also high correlations between TV, newspaper, and radio. So although we go back up and we see that TV is super linear, we will see this being affected by the other variables here. So the coefficients may be different. So let's look at our linear model. So we're going to create a linear regression model. We isolate our dependent variable as sales and then our independent variables. We took that same data frame and we isolated TV, radio, and newspaper. We use train test split to split the data set into training and test sets. And then we initiated that linear regression model and fit it on the training data. From that, we can get our model coefficients and the intercept. And I just printed these out we can for our metrics. So we can use our R squared score and use the test and the model predictions to see how well our data is fitted to that model. And we can see we have a 0.89 R squared. And then our mean squared error is 3.4. Let's also take a quick look at our coefficients from our linear model. I'm going to press Escape and B. And I am going to just quickly write our coefficients zipped with our name so we can see these in a quick data frame. So and let's run that. So now we can see our channel and the coefficients. So we can see TV is 0 0.05, radio is 0.11, and newspaper is negative. Now, you might see this as different from our linear regression visual, where we saw the linearity of these three channels. Now, the one thing we need to take in consideration is that, yes, our TV is the most correlated with sales at 0.9, but there is an interaction between all of these channels that we have to take in consideration. So, for example, TV and newspaper and TV and radio. So we need to take in consideration how all of these different channels interact with one another. And that will be picked up in the optimization so let's dive into that. So I'm going to lean back to our optimization section. So the next section here, 
is going to be where we define the objective function and the constraint for our optimization. So we want to set a guess for what the percentage of contribution of each one of these channels are and then perform an optimization based on a budget that we set. So I'll walk you through each one of these lines of code where I set the budget at $60,000 um, of investment. So you can see that these are different functions. I used um, functions because it's just easier to understand. Let me take you down to the bottom. What we're using is a minimize function. This is an optimization function. And you can use maximize, but I wasn't able to get that to run smoothly. This is from SciPy. So all you have to do is to use the opposite of that is just use negative one. And that's going to ensure that your objective function is going to give you the maximum amount of um, sales you can get for those budget optimizations. So all we do is pass in our coefficients and then if you see this XO here, this is the guess of the percentage contribution we're going to get. So the initial guess is here in this array. I, since we want to know what percentage it needs to equal one, so the initial guess is 33%. So that's why you see one divided by three for each one of those channels. So our objective function is just going to be our um, Y function, which is our channels. So you can see the coefficients added, each one of those. So one, two, and three, multiplied by this percentage guess, and then adding our intercept there also. Next, we want to use a constraint. So what is our limiting factor? Our limiting factor is our budget can only be $60,000. And then we also want to make sure that what we spend is less than that. So you can see that with the initial guesses here also. Next, we use the optimization function from SciPy. We pass in the objective, we pass in the guesses, and then we pass in the constraints. And this will give us an output. So let's go down to the next section. We get our total sales, which is here. We get a TV percentage, TV percentage with the solution guess, so the percentage of contribution that we get, and then we divide that by total sales, and then we get the radio percentage and newspaper percentage. Same thing with the solution guess, and this is the solution sales, so this is from the model. Then we just print out our coefficients, our intercept, and this is just information that you you would have from the model. But what we want is the percentage breakdown here. And you could see that we pr printed out the TV percentage, which is 18%, which what you should multiply uh, your, uh, your initial budget by. So 18% of that. Radio, we want to do 81%. And newspaper is much lower because you can see the value here. So the lion's share of our budget will go into radio. That might be slight, a slight surprise, but remember we need to take into account the interaction between those channels. Even And this also had the highest intercept out of any one of our coefficients, which is here. So I hope that helped you to understand how you can use a linear regression model and budget optimization to give you the, the percentage of contribution for a marketing model. Thank you.